The electric choke heater on the Weber 3236 on the 85E Sundance 720 here is worn out so the choke is coming off too fast after you warm it up. The bimetal and the little heater is expanding too quickly so the choke comes off and runs a little rough and then drives great. So if you have that issue or you're looking to just get your older rig tuned up, you want to make a cheap thing that might make a little bit of a difference, pick up one of these new units. I got this one online, it's from Allstate Carb, but uh, Redline is always a good source for Weber parts as well. It's always a good idea to check for power right here if you're having trouble with your electric choke. Make sure it's got power and the ground on the inside is ready to go. Uh, this one's plugged into my fender fuse block and if you want more information on how that works just go check out the video I made on that. Okay, as you can see that's where the little unit connects to the small dowel right here and that dowel um, actually moves the choke as you can see clean a little debris off there just lines up and clicks in because it grounds through the base you want to clean things up a little bit here just you know clean surfaces, brush the dirt off. Then do the same with the backing plate here. Go, you should be able to get a nice ground out of that now. A lot of people over torque these, so they're frequently bent. Now you're going to tighten these down a little bit, but not too much because you still got to adjust it. You just want a little bit of tension on there. Okay, now you're dealing with a spring inside there, so if you push it too far, it's going to rebound a little bit on you. Now, the rig is just only ran for a second, but it's 115 degrees outside, so things pretty much just started warmed up. I mean, you're setting these up on a cold engine and, you know, it's not 115 degrees outside. You want to have it close and then open it just a little teeny tiny bit when you're setting it up on a cold engine. And then you go for a test drive, and after she's warmed up and got water temperature, you'll check and make sure it's all the way open. Uh, because it's hot out, I can't really do that. So I'm gonna actually have to wait until it's a little cooler to figure out where my close point is. So I'm gonna go plug her in, go for a drive, and make sure she's open all the way. To get everything warmed up and uh, test driven, you just want to, when you get back, just make sure that it's open all the way and not, and then, you know, adjust it a little bit, see if it wiggles, get it kind of at that magic point where it's just barely open all the way. And then the next time before you drive, you want to just check, make sure that it's closed and you should be ready to go. And there you have it, how to install a new choke heater on a Datsun Nissan 720 uh, for a Weber 3236. Remember, you might have to adjust this unit spring and fall, you know, just depending on your climate, how it's adjusted, if you nailed your setup right the first time, and if you do a lot of in-town driving in the winter and no highway driving, you might just want it on a little bit so it runs a little better around town when it's cold, and sometimes you might just check it before you go on a long drive. Uh, this is one of those things that you can just keep an eye on for maintenance-wise, and you want to make sure you've got a good ground and powered up to your fender fuse block. If you don't know how to set one of those up, go check it out in my fender fuse block video. Feel free to leave a like or a comment in the comment section. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.